It's about to get hot out here. It sure is, Greg. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for a couple of days, we got a lot of heat and this time of year, we're going to feel quite different. We've got a little bit of fog to talk about as we go through tonight, though. We do have a dense fog advisory in place yet again for the coastal communities to about seven to 10 miles inland. You can see that it just started uh, at eight o'clock this evening, runs through 9 a.m. tomorrow. It's the gray area that's all highlighted there. Visibility not an issue just yet. Five miles in Imperial Beach, eight at uh, Lindbergh. The rest of the county still at 10. Uh, and as we go through about 11 and 12 o'clock, should start to thicken up a bit. A little bit gray and hazy as we look out from our downtown sky cam off toward the bay and off to the south and west there. You can see a little bit of haze, 62 right now. Humidity now at 70% and again by about 11 and 12 o'clock, we should see that come up to about 80 or 90%. So we've dropped into the 50s at this hour and we've even got some 40s for the higher elevations and the drier air at night really cools us off. So a chilly start to each morning, but the afternoon certainly not feeling like fall at all. Got a little system moving up our direction here. A lot of green on this satellite and radar image, but that's all rain that's falling just off the coast. By the time it gets to us, it's just going to be in the form of cloud cover and some fog. So that will be there through tonight and into tomorrow. Area of high pressure starting to set up up to our north as we go through tomorrow afternoon, especially into Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. This gets a little bit stronger and a little more intense. The offshore wind brings the sunshine in and the drier air comes in as well. So a sunny and warm week, I should say hot right through about Thursday, even into Friday. Wednesday is when it peaks, and that's when we have some 80s at the coast and almost 90 for the warmer spots inland. That's the peak on Wednesday. You'll see it on the seven day coming up in just a bit. Futurecast marine layer, we're looking at the fog at 1130 tonight. Again, where we saw that visibility down to five miles per uh, right now uh, in Imperial Beach. We'll see that again along the Silver Strand and right over to Point Loma by about uh, 12 o'clock into the early morning hours. It's in place and we'll stop tomorrow morning at eight o'clock. We've still got some cloud cover out there, but uh, the sunshine comes out during the afternoon. See plenty of sunshine out there and another warm afternoon. 40s tonight, uh, a couple of 30s in the higher elevations and your highs tomorrow. We've got more of the 80s on the map for you, more than we had today, and those numbers just keep going up from there. Extended forecast at the coast for Veterans Day, starting to really feel the effects, mid 70s along the coast, 80 on Wednesday. Again, that's when it peaks and then it slowly starts to uh, cool off as we go through the next part of the next part of the week, rather. 84 on Monday, 88 on Wednesday. Some of the warmer spots. Yeah, hot and dry. We were talking about this earlier tonight. My lips are getting chapped. You got the dry <laughs> skin. It's dry air coming on in. So we'll have it for the week ahead. And that 88 is not a typo. No, it's there. Unbelievable. In November. Yeah, it's crazy. Thanks.